Hey guys, John the here for Dance Sports 100, Dance Sports dot org. How is it going? I'm here picks for January 15th, 2012. It is Sunday, so that means the uh, second of two um, NFL divisional playoff days is set to get underway in about mm, 12 hours. It's about uh, about 12:30 Central Time here. Um, what an interesting day we saw. In the first set, um, first of all, kicking things off with, with San Francisco and uh, New Orleans, that 36 to 32 thriller. What a game! If you guys missed it, you guys missed probably a classic, definitely the best game of the year. I would, I would say, um, you know, both regular season and postseason, it was just a tremendous back and forth slugfest. Um, you know. Uh, the Fortnite got a touchdown late in the game to take the lead. There was about, I think, uh, just over two minutes left, I think. And I'm thinking, well, that's, you know, that, that's just too much time. You're going to give Breeze in the offense too much time, and you know, that's exactly what happened. And I had a, an amazing throw and catch for a touchdown, and then San Francisco answered right back with a touchdown of their own, um, with, like, with, I think, like, uh, 10 seconds to go and I uh, left in regulation or something like that, so San Francisco gets the win, so we lost that pick, but a tremendous game nonetheless. Now, a game that wasn't so tremendous, but all I can say is this, finally the T-Bow fans will... Till next year. T-Bow fans were basically shut up, I think, tonight. As in Foxborough, Brady behind a record, uh, behind a touchdown pass record, um, shut down the Patriots, completely annihilated them, knocking the Patriots out 45 to 10. Grand, yes. That makes me right on my pick, but it also made me right on my prediction. I said the spread was too high, I said the game was going to be close. Tebow didn't look good, the Broncos didn't look good. Tebow turned the ball over. Here's the thing about the Broncos this year. When Tebow turned, whenever Tebow didn't have turnovers, the Broncos won games. Whenever he turned the ball over in any game, and he turned the ball over at least once, the Broncos lost. So the Patriots and Tom Brady advance, and so we know that uh, either it will either be in the NFC Championship game, or it will either be San Francisco playing the New York Giants in San Francisco, or San Francisco playing Green Bay at Lambeau, and it will be either New England playing Baltimore in New England, or New England playing um, Houston in New England. Either way, we know that uh, New England um, gets um, home field, and I am personally, uh, you know, I picked the Ravens, but I'm not just hoping that they win. For a pick, I think Ravens Patriots will be a much better matchup than Ravens Texans will be. Uh, and I, I'm really looking forward to Pat. You know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that, I'm hoping the Packers win. One, I'm a Packers fan. Two, I picked them. And three, I just like Packers 49ers would be a tremendous matchup. We know that the Giants and 49ers can be a good game. We saw that earlier this year. But I think the Packers and 49ers would be a really good matchup. A good defense from the Niners behind a good offense in the Packers. No. Uh, Alex Smith did really impress me with his composure, especially late in the game. Uh, I was really impressed with that. So I did. I did mention earlier uh, in, the, in the preview video that I thought that he was on the cusp of being elite. I thought about it a lot after I said it. I take back what I said. I don't think he's on the cusp of being elite. I think at some point in time he will put him on the cusp of himself on the cusp of being elite. But I don't think right now is that time. All right, let's uh, get to. Um, some picks. First of all, we are going to kick things off with um, college basketball. By the way, uh, knock on wood, I was finally able to publish my website. So the website is completely updated, ready to go. Hopefully, after I post this video on there, I'll be able to do it for um, a whopping uh, two days in a row. That'd be pretty cool. By the way, just for the record, we are. 3-3 three and three in the 2011 playoffs and 3-3 three and three overall because this is the first year that we have picked the playoffs. So, uh, there you go. That's how we're doing there. 
College basketball was not a bad day. Of course, we picked nothing but top 25 games, and we went 11 and 7 with it. Um, 241 wins, 84 losses on the year. 544 wins, 193 losses. It's a lifetime record. Let's take a look at picks now. Some interesting matchups, including this first one. Number eight, Indiana takes on number five, Ohio State at 4:30 Eastern Time on CBS. I'm not going to be able to watch it because I'm watching the Packer game. Um, but um, I am going to go with Ohio State in the game. Number 6, Duke takes on Clemson. We Duke. Number 11, Georgetown takes on St. John's. I'm going to go with Georgetown. Uh, Southern Illinois takes on number 21, Creighton. And I'm going to go with Creighton. All right, the rest of the Division 1 games, there's only, I believe, four of them that we have to pick. And, yeah, right, uh, four of them. So here we go. Uh, Northern Iowa takes on Bradley. Give me Northern Iowa. Georgia Tech takes on Maryland. Give me Maryland. Uh, Wichita State takes out Indiana State, giving Wichita State, and last but not least, Illinois State takes out Drake, and I'm going to go with Illinois State, but I am, uh, not necessarily extremely comfortable about that pick, uh, right there. Alright, our NBA continues to roll, it continues to stay hot. Um, let's see, let's figure this out. Uh, since we have, t since we took the day off, on the 10th and came back on the 11th, we are, we are 27 and 9, we are 27 and 9 since coming back on the 11th, so 27 and 9 from the 11th to the 14th, pretty amazing, we are definitely going to take that, our worst day was on the 12th, our second day back, where we went 3 and 2. We've gone 9 and 2, 3 and 2, 9 and 2, and then on uh, Saturday we went 8 and 3. We are 104 and 55 on the year. Look at how that record really branched out quickly. Uh, 619 wins, 348 losses is the lifetime record. Let's take a peek now at the action and see how that stacks up for us. And that looks an awful lot like this for Sunday. There are a few games. So here we go, Golden State and Detroit. I'm going to go with the Pistons there, don't feel too comfortable about it. Uh, Utah and Denver. Uh, I'm going to go with the Nuggets. I said in yesterday's video that I really like the way that the Nuggets are playing right now. I think it'll be good. A game that I am going to try to get home to watch. Packer game should be done by then. I'm going to an office for the Packer game. Um, but I should be home to be able to watch this game. And it could be an interesting one. Phoenix sticks on San Antonio, 9 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN and ESPN3. And, excuse me, I'm going to go, um, with, uh, Spurs in that game there. So, alright, by the way, I just looked at Monday's schedule, Monday's NBA schedule, and I'm going to get to watch three very interesting matchups. Get this, uh, I'll get to watch Chicago and Memphis on ESPN, and also T at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. And also TNT has a double header of Oklahoma City and Boston and Dallas and the LA Lakers. It's going to be a very, very interesting It's going to be a fun night on Monday night, I think. All right. So anyway, um, that's pick and everything else. That is going to do it for me once again. Don't forget my NFL picks for tomorrow's side of things. I've got the Ravens to beat the Texans and the Packers to beat the Giants. Okay. That is going to do it for me, guys. I am Jonathan was up for JM Sports under JMSports.org. I don't know. Peace.